Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, don't ignore these two big relationship problems. And the first one is selective hearing. Now we, a lot of us sort of make jokes about that and say that, oh, they'd have selective hearing, they never hear when I say something like, oh, can you help me with the dishes? Can you take the garbage out? These things. But the problem with having this sort of turning your, your hearing off when you don't like something your partner is saying, it's not going to improve your relationship. This isn't good because we all do things in relationships we might not want to do, but it's sort of a necessity to keep things going in the household or with the kids or with whatever's going on in your relationship. Respecting your partner's wishes, and I'm talking on an equal keel here, like you're both respecting each other's wishes. Nobody should be ignoring this. This is something you discussed in the early stages of your relationship. But if you've been married or, or living together for a long time, and you keep having to repeat this year after year after year, it becomes a huge mountain of, of problems to try and fix. Hey, I know it's easy to sometimes tune things out, you know, turn the deaf ear, but in the, in the long run, it isn't really a good thing to do because it becomes such a huge dilemma in a partnership because of the lack of respect. It's one thing to say it a couple of times, but if you're constantly having to say it repetitively, you start to get frustrated and think to yourself, does this person even care? Do they even want to be in this relationship if they're not giving and taking like you are? It becomes a really hard place to be. And it can be something so simple, and yet it turns into irreconcilable differences that we all hear about that causes these, you know, people to split up and divorce and all that stuff. So really be careful that you don't become one of those people who shuts your ear off to your partner. It's a lot easier just to do things for each other, help around the house, do all that stuff, than have somebody have to be constantly frustrated and repeating themselves. And this goes in a lot of areas. If it's something about your business or, or your family, and they're turning a deaf ear to that too, well, they're not there for you. You're not there for them if you do it to them. You need to be listening to each other. Even if it might not be something you want to talk about all the time, you're in a partnership. So you need to keep your partner happy and they need to keep you happy. That's just the way it works. So quit turning a deaf ear to your partner. Hear what they have to say. If you have problems remembering everything, because you really do have problems remembering, not just because you're pretending, write it down somewhere. If it's something that has to happen on a Tuesday or a Friday, put it down in a calendar that you don't forget. And number two, the one I want to talk about, is partners who stop nurturing their relationship. They start taking things for granted. They're not as romantic. The intimacy has changed. There might still be sex, but it's more for the, you know, the, the satisfaction at the end. There's not a lot of excitement in and it's sort of just something that you do together. You're not putting each other as a priority. So you're not putting a lot of thought into them. It's just becoming almost like a companionship. And there's nothing wrong with having a companionship, but that might be something you wanna have later in life in your 70s or 80s or 90s. You want to still have a loving connection with your partner throughout all your years together. If you stop nurturing the romance side of things and doing the little gestures and the little things for each other that you know made them happy in the very beginning, it makes a big dent in the love part of your relationship. You might still be able to talk okay with everything else that goes on during the day with each other, but you're missing that one component that actually is the glue to keeping you together as a loving couple. So if you stay affectionate with each other, you sit down, you talk to each other, you give time to each other, you make sure that you're both taken care of. If there's any big problems, you talk it out, you don't let things slide. Because these two problems I've just discussed will destroy your relationship if it goes on for too long and you're not paying attention to it. 
if somebody, if you hear your partner saying the same things over and over again and it's causing arguments and fights in your relationship, wouldn't it be a good idea to fix that and to talk about it and to figure out if there's a way you guys can compromise on this? The very least, you, be, you need to be able to converse with each other about a lot of things. You don't want to be secretive and shut your partner out because once you do that, the demise of your relationship is already in motion. And if you don't correct it, unfortunately, it might be too hard to sal salvage. So please listen to me on this. It's really important. And I would like to thank you for listening today. If you have anything you want to add to this conversation, please leave your comments below. If there's anything that you can tell the other people here about what you did to make your relationship in a better place, we'd love to hear that too. Please subscribe to Dear Cyber Sue if you haven't already done so. And please leave your comments. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.